Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Easy Craft Art reached out to me, asked me if I'd like to show some diamond paintings to you guys. Now this is another new, to me at least, diamond painting company. So we're going to look at it a little bit more closely. You may have seen diamond paintings from this company from other channels, but I myself have not received any from them yet. So I believe we have four in here to look at. So let's start with this one first. We'll save the big one for last. All right, so in here we have, it's this way. Oh yeah, it's a pretty horse. Now you do get a standard toolkit as usual with these budget-friendly companies. Look at this pretty horse. Oh, and the beautiful sunset, those colors in the background. There are 20 colors in here. It does not state the size, but it must be a 30 by 40. And mm, do not have DMC codes on here. Mm. <laughs> Let's look at the symbols. They do look nice and clear. Very, very nice. Now, yeah, this is a full round. Oh yeah, very, very clear. Even in the darker areas. You guys know I always look in the darker areas. <laughs> Because yeah, typically, if you're going to have a problem seeing anything, it's the darker areas with the white lettering and numbers or symbols or whatnot. So, yeah, very, very nice. Let's take a look at the drills. And we're going to kind of look at the quality of the drills also. Again, seeing as how this is a new to me diamond painting company. Oh, there's some pretty colors in here I can see already. Let's pull this up. And where do we start? Way down here, of course. I always like to show you the reverse side because of the printing on the front so it's easier to see the colors on the back. Look at these two purples right off the bat. These pale lilac colors, lavender. Kind of a mauve. It's a purple and blue violet. Oh, big pack of this dark peach. Ah, oh, the dark purple. Look at these purples. Big pack of this purple. Light gray. Here we have some blues. That real pale pink that I love. Light beige. Kind of a light brick red. Deep pink. That's pretty pink. Kind of another violet blue, blue violet, <laughs> brown, real deep dusty rose, and a little bit lighter one, another blue, and some white, which I'm assuming are the clouds. So pretty. So again, very colorful. You know I like that. Now, the picture looks much more vibrant. Well, I shouldn't say that because there are some vibrant colors in here. But this is the thumbnail. So you can see the horse and then there's a reflection in the water with that beautiful sunset behind it. So pretty. All right, let me zoom back out. We shall package this one up and get to 
the next one. Hmm, is that gonna fit? Yeah. <laughs> See, I never know. All these bags are different sizes, so you never know what's gonna fit and what. And I did make it a little too long, but it'll still work. Because this white sleeve, outer sleeve, is plenty wide. Sometimes they give you real narrow ones and then it's harder to fit them back in. So, we'll put the thumbnail out there so we know what's inside. And if you're not familiar with my unbaggings, I not only do that, I do write the company name on the outside envelope, outside packaging. So I know what diamond painting, what company that diamond painting came from. Oh yeah, this one's so cute. And this one is pre-bagged for you. It is a 30 by 30. Look at, not only have this adorable baby elephant, look at the bunny on top. <laughs> he's so cute. I don't know if he's trying to catch a star here. Looks like he has a fishing pole. Not sure. <laughs> but he's cute regardless. And he's on a sleeping, I'm assuming a moon, if they're going night night. Well, he looks like he is, so I'm assuming it's a moon. As far as confetti, well, there are 20 colors in here, and this one does have DNC codes. Yay! Um, there is some confetti over here, but it is only two colors. So, I wouldn't call that true confetti. A lot of black drilling throughout here, though. So, it is definitely not a heavy confetti diamond painting. So, if you don't like confetti, this would be a good one for you. There is some in through here, but that's about it. The rest of it is... Yeah, very easy to do. So yeah, another one that would not take too long, seeing as how it is a 30 by 30. As usual on all their canvases, you do have the number, the symbol. This particular one does have the DMC code, which most of them do nowadays. Every once in a while, I will get one like the previous one where there is not the DNC code uh, column. So let's take a look at these drills. We'll probably have quite a few blues. And I don't know if this will be, looks like a peach color on there, but we'll see what the actual color will be. Let's zoom in again. So here we have that pale pink, gray, light brown, and another one. Here's some blues. Wow, big pack of that blue and pretty big pack of that blue. So here's your background colors. Pretty, real pale pink. Another blue, kind of a blue-gray, mm, tan, and the purple wants to slip away. You can't run away from me. <laughs> Real pale blue. Oh, that's pretty. I don't see that one too often. That's pretty. A lot of pastels in here. So we have this real pale peach and a pastel pink. Pastel orange, pastel yellow, <laughs> like I said, a lot of pastel colors, blue violet, kind of 
kind of a little bit darker pastel orange and a big pack of white because <laughs> we have all this so it must be white in the moon so then we know it definitely is the moon and not the sun <laughs> I'm not sure if there is white in here. You would think that would be gray. What is I? 3865. No, that is white for here. And the bunny. Yeah, and E. Because 3865 is this color. E is 842. Or I. No, I is this. Sorry. So yeah, this is all going to be white. Hmm, interesting. But then there'll be the shading for their cheeks or for its cheeks. All right, and the thumbnail is even cuter. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. See on here, the moon looks yellowish. That's why I didn't think it was going to be white. I would think it would be a yellowish or kind of a grayish yellow, maybe. But no, it's going to be white. I don't know. If I would do this, I might switch it out for like a paler yellow. I don't know. Kind of like this picture. I like that color better. But yet, that might look okay because it is an off white, it is not a bright white. So that might be just fine. All right, so let's zoom out, package this one up. And we have two more to go. fit in there, my goodness sakes. The struggle is real. There we go. It's another cute one that would fit in. I put my 30 by 30s in a scrapbook. That's kind of how I frame them. Um, I do have a video on how I do that. Um, on my channel, so if you're interested in that. Okay, let's go on to the third one. Oh yeah, this is a 30 by 40. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the contrasting colors. So we have all our warm colors in the butterfly and then all cool colors in the flower, in the rose. And with all these bright colors, we have is that black or 939. It's 310, so it is black in the background. So we have a lot of black drilling in this one. And there's only 14 colors. So not many colors at all in this 30 by 40. Let's look at the symbols. Oh yeah, very, very clear. No problem reading those at all. This is another full round. As far as confetti, like I said, tons of block drilling around. There is you know, some confetti um, in the butterfly. And not too much in the flower. Not too bad. So really about the only confetti, I mean, of course there's color changes, but not a lot. The only confetti is mainly, well, there's not even a lot of color changing in here. Little confetti there 
Yeah, this is not bad at all. If you like block drilling, uh, meaning if you're not familiar with those two terms, block drilling is the same color in a large area. Um, so it's quite easy to do versus confetti where you have a lot of different colors within a smaller area. So it does take a little bit longer to do the confetti area. And if you're like me, I have a tendency of missing symbols and having to get that color back out again later. <laughs> so I like a combination of both. Sometimes you might get a little bored with you know, all the, especially where there's a lot of this. So if I have a diamond painting like this, I'll do some of the background. Then I'll go to some of the more detail. Then come back to the background. Oh, that is so pretty. Love it. All right. And this is pre-kitted up for you. Nice for you beginners. I always say that if you don't have any separate storage system yet, because maybe you're not sure if you're going to like this craft or not, this is great that they have this for you. So we are going to look at these drills. Open up. Thank you. So you can imagine we're going to have a lot of three pins. <laughs> Zoom you in. All right. So we're going to have a lot of yellows and oranges and reds and blues. <laughs> Pretty aqua blue. Here's kind of a mauve. Light beige. Oh, look at these blues. Aren't those gorgeous together? Quite a bit of that. Oh, I love their color. Kind of a rusty brown. Here's a real dark blue. Oh, big bag of this darker blue. Bright yellow in that top. It wasn't a flower, what was it? Butterfly. And darker orange. Here's some red. Big pack of this darker red. <laughs> Completely stuffed big bag of three tens. <laughs> yeah, there's all your black. And finally, is that a dark brown? Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. Here I go again. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here is the thumbnail. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out. Get these back in the package, and we have one more. I think I could do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. There. Not perfect, but it'll do. All right. Last, but certainly not least, is this one that seems larger. Yes, it is. <laughs> Does it go this way? No, it must be a landscape. Oh, yeah, this one. Look at this. Oh, the cuteness. It's cuteness overload. This is another 40 by 40. Look at this one. Adorable little girl with these little kittens and happy kittens. Ah, uh, oh, this is so cute. Symbols again, very, very clear. Look at all this 
white. And it is a little bit larger size diamond painting. So you can imagine how many white drills we're going to have. Because let me double check. One, yes, is 38.65. So that is definitely white. And we have quite a bit of white and grays in the kittens. Oh my gosh. A little bit of white up in her hair. As far as confetti, well, you can see there's a lot of black drawing. Her face, too. Confetti in her eyes, of course. A little bit in her hair down here. Not a whole lot of confetti at all, even in the kitties. There is some underneath the shading here and through here. In here. So the, the shading, the shading areas, that has, a, you know, some confetti. But the rest of it, even her dress, that's not confetti at all. So the vast majority of this is not confetti. And it's adorable. It is a full round. 23 colors. So not too bad for a 40 by 40. Probably again because we have so much white. And there are DMC codes on here. Oh my gosh. I love it. Let's take a look at the drills. I can imagine we're going to have at least one big pack probably a couple big packs of white so let's zoom in and we are going to start over here so we have a pale pink, just a little bit of 310, gray, oh look at that beautiful peach, some more gray, real pale gray, a couple of blues, I'm assuming in her dress, dark orange or a <laughs> light orange brown. A little bit more gray. Oh, there's that pale peach. And a pale peach. Must be a skin tone. Real dark, dusty purple. Brown. Green. Must be for, like, grass down by her shoes. Another pale pink. Kind of a blue that's a little bit on the gray side. Big peck of this blue. Oh, there's that beautiful, real pale mint green. And <laughs> dark gray, a brown. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three, four, five <laughs> big packs of white. And again, 3865 is an off-white. It's not a bright, bright white, which I like. I prefer this much, much better than that real bright, bright white. Um, it's just not natural, you know, to have it that bright. Wow, look at that. So if you multi-place, um, the background won't take so long. If you are newer and you single-place, which there's nothing wrong with single placing. I single placed for years. I just got into multi-placing this past year. Um, you know, it takes a little bit longer, but it can be so enjoyable and relaxing to just do that. So let's see the thumbnail of our cute, adorable little girl. And them kittens are so cute too. All right, let's zoom back out. And we shall get this last one packaged up. How long is our fade? A 
All right, cooperate with me. Okay. There you have it. Let's fold that one over. And I made it too long. I'm going to squish it in there anyhow. No, that's not too good. It's a larger outer envelope, so it'll still fit. Oh, yeah. No problem. This guy said there are just so many adorable, cute, cute, cute diamond paintings out there. And like all the other diamond painting companies, uh, Easy Craft Art just has thousands out there to pick from. Uh, any subject matter you can imagine tons of different sizes so yeah and I will leave a link to Easy Craft Arts website as well as all four of these specific diamond paintings if one of these interests you so we have our adorable cute little girl our beautiful contrasting colored rose and flowers a cute little elephant and bunny and this gorgeous, here goes the word again, horse. All right. So thank you so much again to Easy Craft Art for sending me these diamond paintings to show on my channel. And thank you, my subscribers, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these diamond paintings. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys. Thank you.